This is a nice, easy introduction to this topic because remember we just said ratios, what was our synonym for ratios? Fractions, right? They're just fractions dressed up in different clothes, okay? So one of the first examples they've got is, here we go, our example, two to seven. That's the way I read that, by the way. I might even write that in me. The way I say this is two to seven, okay? So for every two of something, I've got seven of something else, okay? That's equal to, and the ratio they're comparing us to is something to 35, right? Now this, this is exactly the same as number three. This question, you see, how would I rewrite it in fraction form? Yeah, Manal. 2 over 7 and then equals something over 35. Perfect, okay. So you can see, this is a question you're very familiar with, we should be really good at it. Um, what do we do to get to this unknown? Yeah. Because uh, the 7 to 35, that's times 5, so then you times the 2 by 5, yeah. Perfect. 10 over 35, that's it. So our ratio, our new one, is 10 to 35, okay? So the kinds of places where this appears is like, if you are cooking, you're making a recipe, and it's like, oh, this is a recipe for, you know, uh, 10 people, 10 people, okay? And you need two cups of flour, seven cups of water, something like that. That's not gonna be very useful. That's not gonna cook anything for you. Anyway, um, if that's for 10 people, but you wanted it for more people, maybe 50 people, you're going to have a new ratio, right? I'm now going to have 10 cups of this, 35 cups of that. You see the comparison, okay? Now, really quickly, watch out. I'm, this is not from the book, but we'll do example two. Occasionally, you will get fractions appearing in your ratios, right? So you might get something like this. Six and two thirds to two, okay? And rather than being told, okay, here's a new you know, a number to put on the denominator, just like here. All they want you to do is just simplify it. Um, just write it without fractions in the ratio, because that's kind of like fractions on fractions, right? So what might we do here to get rid of that over three? Yeah, put a suggestion. Uh, make it a improper fraction. Okay, first step I'm going to do is make this convert it into an improper fraction. How do I do that again? Mm, times William. Three plus yeah. um, times three by six, and then you add the resulting leftover bit to the two. Yep, so um, it kind of looks a bit like this. You might have drawn diagrams a bit like this, right? And the reason why is because you have two thirds here. How many thirds are in six? How many thirds? There are 18, 18 thirds, okay? So 18 thirds plus two, that gives me 20, 20 in total. Uh, 20 thirds, right? That's That number on the left hasn't changed. I've just sort of dressed it up a little differently. So the two is still over there. Now what do I have to do? Yeah. Uh, the two over a one. Okay, so yeah, I don't want this to be 20 over three, I want it to be oh. 20 over one, okay? So to get it to be a one, I've got to multiply this fraction by... Mm. Three? Three, right? So let me even write this uh, as an extra step. I'm going to multiply by three, which means I'm going to multiply this by three. Do you see that? So on the left hand side of the ratio, I just get 20 and what do I get on the right? Six. Six. Okay, now um, that's better. It's all whole numbers, but I can do even better than that, can't I? Yeah, simplify it. I can simplify further simplify because, two. yeah, because these two have a greatest common divisor of two. So I'll divide through, which gives me 10, ten and ten three. Two, three. Okay, just pause. Before you pack up and go home, do a sense check on this because ratios are very common sense. 10 to 3. Does it roughly look like what we started with? No. Yes. Yeah. I think it, it, it is does. because 3 yeah. and a third is equivalent to uh, one third. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So in my head, what I'm thinking of, just, just go a common sense check only needs to be approximate. How much bigger, roughly, Roughly. How much bigger is 10 than 3? About like, three times. Three. It's about three. 3 times bigger, right? Yeah. About 3 times bigger. It's a little more, isn't it? Is this about 3 times bigger than 2? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Thumbs up. We're on the right track, okay? Yeah. You'll often know you've gone wrong because sometimes it'll be like backwards. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm 3 times smaller, but what I started with was the other way around. Common sense checks can really save you. Okay?